How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is a travel size pillow with a silk pillowcase on it. If you go on Amazon, there are so many brands. You don't even know which one to pick and not all the specifications are stated right on the page. These cost about 20 to $25 on Amazon for the travel size. If you buy the regular pillow size, it's gonna cost a little bit more proportionately. Now people like to get these because apparently it reduces wrinkles. It doesn't pull on your skin as much because it's a bit smoother and it doesn't absorb any kind of skincare material like whatever you put on at night. After using it for one night, I really do feel like it makes your skin smoother. It's as if I did like a thorough cleaning on my face and just kind of rubbed it for like 20, 30 minutes or so. The reason I'm making this video is because on Amazon, there's a lot of descriptions about the quality of the silk. I'm gonna concentrate on mom what the heck it is this one is 22 mom and i was sort of questioning how can i verify that this really is the quality that they say it is 22 mom basically means 100 yards by 45 inches worth of silk material weighs in at 22 pounds now if you just google it around the first thing i saw was actually a length of silk material 100 feet by 45 inches not 100 yards by 45 inches this makes a 3x difference but i believe the 100 yard by 45 inches more because usually in fabric they sell it per yard not by the foot so this one in particular is the tim and tina brand it's 22 mom i got the alaska bear it's roughly the same size there's a zipper here for the tim and tina there's also a zipper for the zima silk about the same size and I'll get into the exact sizing later but there's also a zipper and then for the Mulberry Park roughly the same size and there's something I really like about this one is because there is no zipper now I've had a zipper on a comforter scratch my face before there's like a light scratch and it kind of bothers me that there's like a little zipper here as well because I could very well just rub my face on this accidentally at night and then it's gonna scratch me so it kind of gives me a little bit of worry. So I think if I were to pick between these four, I would actually go with the Mulberry Park one simply because it doesn't have a zipper. The price is roughly the same for all of these. $20.99, $19.99, $22.99, $22 and $23. So the most expensive of all of these, but just buy like $2. Now here's a spreadsheet that I whipped up for these four. Rated mom. 22, 19, 19, 19. I got notes over here. The Tim and Tina have zipper and a tag, which adds to the weight. Alaska Bear, Zima Silk also have a zipper and a tag. Mulberry Park does not have a zipper, which would reduce the weight of it, but it does have a tag. Now, why am I caring about the weight so much? Because I want to determine if these are really 22 mom or 19 mom. You do this by just looking at the size of the fabric used, adding it all up and see if it's supposed to weigh the way it is by whatever mom that they say it's supposed to be. So going forward, I did say that these are double-sided, the height of each item and the width of each item, and then the square inches is calculated by multiplying the two and then times two because you have the front and also the back. I just wanted to do a sanity check that they're not completely ripping you off by giving you a mom rating of like 10. So here I have the measure weight, 1.62 ounce without the pillow, of course, but with the zipper and the tags. Alaska Bear is 1.4 ounce. Zima Silk is 1.5 ounce. This Mulberry Park one is 1.2 ounce. Now it's a little bit lighter because there's no zipper, but I don't know how much the zipper weighs. Anticipated silk weight of each of these, it's supposed to be for Tim and Tina, 1.16, Alaska Bear, 0.95. Zima Silk is supposed to be 0.88. Mulberry Park is supposed to be 1.12. Now the difference, you can see that Tim and Tina here weighs about half an ounce heavier than it's supposed to be. And I attribute it probably to the extra half inch of material all the way around and also the zipper size in order to stitch these together. Sometimes there's some overlap. So there's probably a half inch of fabric material all the way around 
this pillowcase. If you pull open the pillowcase and you look at where the stitching is, right? There's a half inch right there. So if you add all this up, whatever size of the pillow is, add one inch to each dimension, multiply those two together and then multiply by two. If you do this, it looks very, very reasonable now. 1.3 ounce for this one, 1.07 worth of silk for this one, one ounce of silk for this one, and 1.26 of silk for this one. Sanity check complete. I think this is close enough to really believe that this is 22 mom and those other ones are 19 mom. I hope you guys like this video and now hopefully you guys can also verify if a pillowcase is the quality it states it is. If you guys are interested in any of these pillow, especially this Mulberry Park one that I personally really like, check out my referral link down in the video description below through Amazon. And if you buy it through there, it will help out this channel and it won't actually increase the price for you at all. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. One more thing you might have a question about is why do I use a travel size pillow even at home? It's because I like to face my head off the edge over here and I feel like I can breathe a little bit better. When the pillow is like really long, my face gets sunk in in the middle. It seems like the air doesn't flow out as well. It's just my personal preference over here. But you know, it's really nice to use a tiny pillow. I can use it for travel and it's the exact same pillow I use at home. So it's great in that sense.